Good day. You may well have heard of a ship called the Mary Rose, the most famous ship in good King Henry's fleet. Not the biggest ship, nor the King's flagship, that was the Great Harry, the, the Henry Grasadieu. But the Mary Rose was perhaps his most beloved ship, and perhaps the most beautiful. She was built in 1509 and was refitted heavily in 1536. And she was a big ship, not the biggest in the fleet, but one of them. She and her sister's ship, the, the Peter Pon of Pomegranate, carried um, perhaps 500 tonnes. Uh, that's a measure of, of the size of the ship. Uh, not the weight, but if you filled it with wine, how much wine would it be? A tonne is a great big barrel of wine. After she was rebuilt, she was perhaps uh, seven or, or even 800 tonnes in displacement and in, in weight, in, uh, in size. And that was mostly with an extra deck for guns. She was a massive ship, a floating castle with three full decks. Two gun decks uh, after the 1536 refit, mounting 141 guns, 24 of them heavy ship killing cannon and with massive castles fore and aft, big platforms for archers and gunners and for soldiers to fight against other ships companies from. Massive castles of three decks or more. You should have 400 crew, 415 including officers, 200 mariners, uh, the sailors that, that keep her going, that, that trim the sails and, and pull on ropes and, and wash the decks, that sort of thing. 185 soldiers and these are people to fight against a ship's crew on the other ships, the enemy ships, to keep the ship safe, but also to use some of those 200 odd guns. And 30 gunners. These are no longer all of the crew of the guns, these are the people commanding the great ship killing guns. The rest of the, the numbers are all made up of officers and gentlemen, uh, sort of the professionals that are in charge or who keep the ship going, so the carpenter and the purser and the barber surgeon and the cook as well as the navigator and the sailing master and, and the captain and, and, and so on. Mary Rose sailed for 34 years. She took part in all three of Henry VIII's great continental wars all against the French, um, also against the Scottish quite often. When she was ready for fighting she could take on more soldiers and at the Battle of the Solent her final battle that's what she did. She probably took on an extra 300 or so soldiers, making 700 or so souls on board. The Battle of Solent was uh, a terrible battle in terms of the weight of numbers, perhaps the biggest naval battle, one of the biggest naval battles uh, in Europe. Around 300 ships, 200 plus are, are French ships, 80 or so English ships, with 42,000 soldiers or thereabouts about 30,000 French soldiers, mostly it was an invasion fleet with about 12,000 English soldiers plus some sailors, um, mounting hundreds of guns, fighting over two days with one casualty being the Mary Rose. Uh, on the second day of fighting uh, the wind had died, French galleys came in, shot into the, the fleet doing little damage. When the wind picked up Mary Rose came out and she shot the guns on one side of her and she started to turn. We're not it's not clear whether she shot all of the guns or, or just most of the guns. Um, it's not clear if she was turning ready to shoot her other broadside or because the wind was still fluctuating, it was blowing up and down and, and maybe that, that wind turned her more quickly than she was expecting and maybe the gun ports were still open because they were ready to fire or, or hadn't yet fired or maybe they just hadn't closed properly, maybe there were too many people on board, maybe the discipline was wrong, maybe the French gunshots earlier in the day uh, and, and during this, this duel because they drove off the, the French galleys, maybe that had weakened her. The truth is we don't know but the truth is also she sank very very quickly. Witnesses who were there wrote down how quickly she, she sank. More than 700 souls on board but because of a, a net across the deck to stop people getting on and because when a ship goes underwater it sucks things to you and because many of the soldiers were wearing armour and it's very difficult to swim in armour and not many people were, were very good at swimming, fewer than 35 made it off that, uh, that ship. More than 30 years the Mary Rose sailed, three campaigns she sa sailed in, she served well, she was a beautiful ship, well remembered and well renowned through history. 
why she sank, I'm afraid I can't tell you. Will she be remembered? I certainly hope so.